Hey guys, and welcome back to Let It Die. Uh, today we are going to be covering the boxing gloves, kind of. Very high chance that there is going to be a part two to this because we have zero mastery. I just got them, I really wanted to play with them. Also, I've been grinding the ever-living hell out of the TDM and just cannot, cannot get a damn blueprint of this fucking weapon and it's driving me bonkers. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> hi, <laughs> by the way, welcome to Let It Die. Uh, yes, but in this video, we're going to be showcasing as much as we can uh, the boxing gloves uh, that are the new TDM weapon, by the way. Uh, so this is Season 3's TDM weapon. The previous weapon was the shovel, um, and this is the boxing glove. Now, literally from everything I've heard, this is the opposite <laughs> that I uh, what I wanted, but whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Has low durability and all that jazz. Anyways, this is the very, very maxed up one called the Spiked Boxing Glove A. Yeah, um, now, with it being pretty leveled up, it only does 700 damage. Um, 730. But, the thing is, this weapon hits extremely fast. <laughs> um, it's basically like a fist with a spring on it. It's crazy. Anyways, its durability is its negative. Opposite. <laughs> Opposite of what I want. Anyways, something like this is 170, something like this is still 170, something like this is 140, uh, 1,400. So, that's not ideal, <laughs> but anyways, uh, guard against S, stamina A, um, rage move is 1. And what is its rage move uh, entirely? Unchained Rush, attacks with a powerful successful blow. Oh, successive blow, alright. Uh, so, I have no idea what this is going to be as soon as I hit the button. Okay, so yeah, it very much feels like it is kind of like a cross breed between the yo-yo because of its range. Yeah, okay, so I tapped it once and did one little gyrate. If I held it down... No, it's the second hit, that's what it is. Oh, wait, maybe... No, it's it's always... What does it then? What, what did, like, the multiple hit thing? Okay, if you button mash, it's almost like it, it, it hits, tw like, a couple more times. Weird. I don't have <laughs> any of like the mastery or anything, so we're just gonna dabble at the bottom. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because yeah, I don't have any of the mastery. I we literally are you we can't even have its cool art alternative hit. Um, I this weapon, I feel like the reason why I'm saying there's gonna be a part two probably is because this weapon is massively uh leaning towards a very high mastery efficiency kind of thing. What I mean is you need to have a, a high mastery in order for this to be efficient. Also, uh, yeah, before we do this, let's go um, talk to Eugene. I forgot to do that, because he probably will be like, hey, this is how you use the weapon. Here's some secret shit that you don't know about yet. Also, goddammit. Also, I'm breaking rule number one of film in anything, which is wearing a striped shirt. It's going to look fucking weird <laughs> in the uh, playback and or on YouTube, because the cameras don't handle stripes well at all. It's a bunch of encoding of the video don't worry about it <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry also um, the reason why we are so fashionable is because I'm just trying to burn out uh, the crappy armor I have in my my goddamn vault <laughs> and yeah my dude Eugene or whatever your name is the power the rocket launcher yes we've already met me something <laughs> anything lightning bolt the lightning staff yeah yeah no I know I have it damn it by the way is senpai death the Garcia, Gar Garcia Hosberg, or whatever the hell his name is, <laughs> damn it, uh, Shadows of the Damned main person, Boxing Glove, Fists of Fury. Hell, what's with the backdrop of, like, sushi or whatever? It's weird. Anyways, uh, you say you got a Boxing Glove weapon, huh? It may look like a toy, but this thing's serious. Upping the mastery level, uh-huh, lets you throw out a flurry of hits. The rage move deals a beret of heavy punches. Hi, yeah, 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 what? <laughs> what? Oh, I got it. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, mastery is the game plan. Now, normally, that would be a problem. Um, leveling up mastery is quite easy, in fact. You just use mess with the bottom floors. But with this weapon's low, low durability, I can't do that. Um, if I was, if I were able to make my own, even if it was just the base one, I'd be able to do it. But I haven't got it to drop. <laughs> and I don't- I probably wouldn't have the materials. Seriously, this is a very, very poorly drawn tiger. Very poorly drawn. Uh, so we're probably never <laughs> gonna use the, uh, golden boxing club. I just wanted to make sure you guys could see it. Cause it does look fantastic. <laughs> it's got, like, bolts or spikes on it. Give it a minute. There we go. 330 th yes! All that. So apparently, um, this weapon doesn't do a lot of damage, but where- it makes up for it with the- 
Oh, uh, what was it? It's, it basically stun locks enemies, which sounds fantastic. Also, you, you, it's like a ranged weapon. <laughs> kind of. Uh, so, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that range is pretty good. <laughs> it's really good. A safe distance. Now, it's heavy hit is like a badass uppercut that has like twice the range or something crazy. It's not really a counter weapon that I'm used to. Because it does take a little bit for you to fire it out. But, yeah. Uh, I could show you guys the rage move, although I'm trying to up the mastery as much as possible. Yeah, the range is really good, actually. Oh, look, snipes. Fucking snipes. Bam, look at that range. Okay, this time, let's try just holding down the button. Also, someone's gonna drop out of there, aren't they? Yeah, I see you, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, we're one-shotting all of them, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to... But that, that may come from upping the mastery. Sorry, one of you guys linked a video last time to us showing, showing the weapon in action. It wasn't, I don't think it was one of these ones, the gold one at least. I don't think it was showcasing that one. Because it's like end, end tier. Anyways, but yeah, the person that was using the damn thing was just wrecking. Uh, but, well, actually not really. <laughs> he took it up really high floors and it did, it looked like it was good stun lock weapon, but that's it. Um, I, I don't know, but also you, you can't really be too picky because it is a very ranged type of weapon. There's not too many ranged weapons in the game, period, that are decent. Uh, the only one that might come close is the lightning staff, and of course the assault rifle. I'm talking about like melee weapon kind of type deal things, not like guns. Of course, guns are powerful in this game. How oh, would you look at you? Bam! Right in the in the you know what happened. <laughs> Let's try this. Bam! So even though she blocked it, it didn't matter because <laughs> this thing is just. It over leveled like crazy. Oh, I forgot about the Easter thing Experience and all that nice. I <laughs> completely forgot Again the range I'm always like ah that probably won't hit and it hits <laughs> so that's pretty great <sighs> ah. mm, Nothing <laughs> nothing now you guys be like what are you talking about dude? It's super dense <laughs> or whatever like durable. Yeah, well, that's also because we're not really using The yeah, <laughs> it's one-shotting everything so its durability is, is relatively pointless and or unshown I would love it so, so much if they just added a hoodie to the game. Not like like a zip-up hoodie, kind of like this, except with a hood. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, like they just flap around. That'd be awesome. Or or like a, a badass like T-shirt, but with like I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but basically like it's like a you know how you wrap your hands with cloth, that kind of thing, except wrapped around the stomach and like a little bit draping off. Look badass as an aesthetic thing. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Again, a lot of these uh, little shitty uh, XP things. They don't give you a lot of XP at all. <laughs> but I, I mean, this is the cool part about these kind of weapons, though. No matter what, you can hit them, <laughs> which is great. Did, that, did something go, go through? Oh, I thought he dropped hover metal or something. Disappoint. Is there a bastard right here? Yes. Boom! My range outranges your range. I'm sorry. By the way, um, in my in the daily reward, I didn't even know this is a thing, but carbon fiber cloth or cotton, I got it. I don't even know it's a thing. That's bullshit. I, I I call bullshit. Should never have happened. Oh, did we get the? No, no, we did not get the heavy hit yet. Damn it. Boom. Boom. It does feel good, like, being at a huge range drop-off. It doesn't counter the most, like, painful weapon, which is the assault rifle, but still. Because it's the most ranged and the most damaged kind of weapon. Uh-oh. Who's screaming fuck off? What is happening? Is that a nude man? It is. We're in better business than you'd think. Little baby punch. Baby punch. Let's do a, like a, uh, a rage move. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. How much durability did it take? Not that much. Usually rage moves take a chunk out of your durability. Uh, I think it's just certain weapons that <laughs> do that. Let's see how it fares against a boss. <laughs> Until we have the mastery, I'm, there's no way in hell I'm fighting Gato 20 or anything. <laughs> anything above that. Where am I, Gato? You blind bitch. Okay, <laughs> well. Looks really cool. Damn it, I missed a golden opportunity for a thumbnail. DOD what? Blue? Crazy. Hey, quick pause. How's our mastery looking? 
probably not great. <laughs> Boxing gloves. Um, we unlocked a punch blast. Attacks repeatedly by mashing. Oh, okay, so that's what we do. I thought that was how it worked. Yeah, because uh, I swore like we did an extra like three hits if I just button mashed the fire button, which I mean, hey, it worked. Um, and I think ten. 10 is when we get most of the time our yeah our our alternative hit all right sweet we're getting there <laughs> yeah no, not really so we just keep button mashing oh okay I see that's what you guys mean we just keep button mashing and it'll just keep <laughs> that's awesome all right let's see let's see if we make this happen because I think that's that's what I was waiting for that's like the bread and butter of all of it let's do this just keep hitting just keep hitting Nope. Roll forward. Roll forward. Bam. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> That's really cool. I can't wait to... Let's actually try to stun lock an enemy that can be stun locked. It can't be a boss. Boss can't be stun locked. But maybe... Could you do that with the, uh, the, uh, Forceman? Not the Forceman, sorry. Uh, the other guys. Uh, the... White's no, not White Steel either. <laughs> God damn, what's his name? Jackals? Can you have the Jackals? I think the Jackals are one of the only enemies that can actually be staggered, which are they're like stronger than bosses, but yet they can be staggered. It's fucking weird, man. <laughs> Bam! Oh, look at all this! Bow! Bow! Yes! All right, now. Let's stun lock. Oh, but she's pretty fucking up there, dude. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I knew that would happen. God damn it. Oh, but I stun locked you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, but you, you get pushed away. So, what's the fucking point? Okay, so that was kind of a thing. Oh, I'm like tensing up doing this. I could instantly kill her with the other one, but I don't want it. Roll back. Yeah, I would normally be like, I'm all about it, but it's it ends up being kind of finicky with the, uh... Okay, how can I even roll away, dude? What the fuck's the point? <laughs> Bam. Okay, sorry. What I was trying to say um, was if it pushes them back, then it kind of feels like... You know what? Well, I guess, I, I suppose that could be a bonus, actually. What I was about to say was, well, you guys know what doesn't push them back? The staff, which is exactly the problem <laughs> of the staff. The staff does a lot of damage, but they can immediately punch you out of your hit combo. Uh, whereas this doesn't have that problem. So I guess it's, it has more uh, in line with uh, with the lightning staff in terms of being it's kind of like, like more physical older brother. <laughs> Less elemental, more straight damage. Yeah. See, I don't trust this. <laughs> and, well, we did just fight the, the kind of like warden of this area anyway, so yeah. All right, I think that could be enough. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's the alternative hit. Hell yes. Um, it's this. Bam. A little pop, like bam. And it's pretty quick. Yeah, it doesn't eat that stamina. It's pr it's just a fast counter hit. So like if, I, if you dodged around, can you redirect that? No, it, uh, well, it hits out really fast. It's like a fast attack. It's faster than that. Okay. So I guess if you don't want to like commit that hard, because you're fighting a certain weapon type, you can just go bip, roll away, bip, and like just play that game. Although you do get, you're still in like an animation state, so it's kind of weird. Anyways. Oh uh, yeah. Where we go? No, I didn't want to eat that. God damn it. I'm playing other games and it's just fucking me up. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go to the TDM a little bit and then go fight Gato. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all you guys are getting from me. Let's go do Gato 23rd, uh, 23rd floor, and then we'll go do the TDM, and then, like, we're done. <laughs> we're done for the most part, because I don't trust... I don't want to break the good equivalent, but I also think that, that like, anything <laughs> uh, five-star can wreck bosses, more or less. Even weapons that normally shouldn't. <laughs> like, this weapon is clearly not to, meant to be, like, a boss slayer, at least I don't think. Who knows? From everything I've seen, though, it's meant to handle haters and, and enemies that you'd fight in the TDM, hence the TDM reward. Well, actually, not really, because the uh, the last two weapons were very uh, boss-heavy. Like, the uh, shovel, I think, is a good boss-annihilating kind of weapon. Yeah, there's no in-between. We're going to be doing no damage to then to then eviscerating him, so... 
I don't know. <laughs> ASMR. Fucking eye. <laughs> Ow. So is Gato supposed to be like an engine? I don't understand. Not a lot of damage. Not a lot of damage. Please, please. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I was out of it. Ooh, dodge and counter hit. Missed. No, actually, I got a hit on that. It wasn't a great hit, but I got it. God damn it. Fuck. All right, let's do uh, just a little tiny bunts like this. Missed. Boom! Oh yeah, the person I wanted to totally hit. Boom! Fucking goddamn Agato. So f f annoyingly fast. Oh wow, that didn't kill you. I thought for sure that that would do it, but that definitely, definitely did it. Hell yeah. At least it looked cool. <laughs> At least we got a cool screenshot out of it. Um, but yes, uh, so the, the things that you can do with this weapon are um, a series of blows by just button mashing the shit out of the button, like so. And you can just keep doing that. I'm sure if you get higher mastery, you can do that for even longer. So you can literally just stun lock someone. Although, we have seen the problem where um, they do get pushed back. So you're never really going to be able to instantly stun lock them. Or at least it doesn't seem like it is. Maybe that it fixes the knockback when you get down the mastery. That'd be cool. Anyway, so there's that. And then there's a little quick jab. Boom. Uppercut. Uppercut. Or, it's really a ball shot. <laughs> Less of an uppercut. <laughs> right to the nads. Right to the nads. <laughs> Um, can you follow that up with something? You can do this. No, they don't really feed into each other. They're kind of separate attacks. Gotcha. To the TDM we go. <laughs> Let's see that. Hopefully, I'll get the package I want. I'm sorry, Fate. I, I shouldn't. I should not be that that ignorant. I guess. <laughs> oh, for uh, for those of you guys wondering about me being like, uh, oh, dude, I thought you'd be more excited about the weapon because you know you wanted brass knuckles so much. Um, I wanted brass knuckles so much because they. I, I essentially just wanted my fist back. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so, you know how when we first started playing that die, and I say we because I think the community at large did this, uh, you didn't really depend on, oh god damn, my goddamn phone, <laughs> um, you didn't really depend on like the machete or, or the firework launcher so much as you just depended on your fist, because uh, it was mastery in the game, so you wanted to level up the mastery of the fist so that you could just endlessly use the thing that you're always going to have opposed to the thing that you probably weren't, or the thing that cost money, or the thing that would eventually like fail you, like break. Um, so you, you invested in your fist. Essentially, I just want that back. Um, I don't want our fist to be stronger, but I do want a weapon with a very, very deep and or huge capacity for for mastery, I suppose. So like the fist. The fist took like three times longer to level up than any weapon. I would love if there was a weapon that was kind of similar to that, that like required you to invest blood <laughs> or like violent, like experience is what I'm saying, time used in the weapon or for it to truly unlock its its power, but it took a long time. I'm um, kind of like, you really needed to dedicate yourself to just grinding out with this weapon to unlock its absurd power. I love that. Um, and that to me very much was the fists, kind of. The fists, you ended up leveling up and it didn't really do much besides more gortastic experience. There was nothing like, you hit slightly faster, something like that. Um, so when I envisioned the brass knuckles, I always was hoping that it would be two things. Have a very deep mastery leveling system, and then secondly, um, have a very, very high durability. And hopefully, have a little bit of a faster attack speed than this, because enemies can like glide out of your attack at the, like, this one, they can leave. Like that one, the final uppercut thing, they can just dip out. Uh, and the same thing with our heavy hits. For brass knuckles, I was hoping it'd be something... Maybe like you charge up a punch and then you like go forward two feet and attack, something like that. Um, yeah, so it'd be like boom, boom, and then you could choose to charge up your hand and then let go after you after a little while. That would be really cool to me. Also, the evolution of brass knuckles just seems I think would be really cool. Like you could just have you know a piece of metal in your hand. It could even be a stupid square uh, to like at its final level. It's like a whole gauntlet of barbed wire and, and leaking purple poison because maybe it ends up favoring that in the end. Something like that I think would be awesome. Uh, so that's what I was meaning when it comes to brass knuckles. This is very much the opposite <laughs> of everything I was kind of talking about when it comes to all that. It attacks very fast. Um, it's a stagger weapon, more of like a utility weapon than just a, a good base weapon. Um, it's fun <laughs> at a base level, but it's definitely not what I was uh, hoping for or, or like anything that I was hoping to envision. I'm happy that there's like a fist weapon. I really still hope they do the whole barbed wire thing. Uh, just because I think it makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, And it seems like it's in their vein of stuff that they would do and etc. Uh, but anywho. Uh, let's just go fight uh, some random people in the TDM 
uh, with our boxing gloves. Not the, let's, not, let's try not to use the gold one, all right? Uh, but I do definitely think this is going to be a valued TDM weapon, just because of the fact that it can stagger and all that, and yeah. Then again, it, I don't think it does a lot of damage. Uh, like, we're, we're, we're gonna, this is not a good representation of the damage, by the way. We're going into the TDM, which is, uh, well, we're going into the TDM sorting by rank and then going to the bottom, meaning these people's defenders are, like, grade 2, so we're gonna one-shot them anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep, the, they're niggered. They're, oh, damn it. They're, bam. Oh, wow, I thought that would one-shot you. It didn't. Bam. That's a, a vagina shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologize. Or maybe that was his attempt at putting us in a in a very false uh, sense of security. Not, not really. <laughs> not really. Bam. Oh, I forgot we could spam it too. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, you, you come closer. You come. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Does the AI not know how to handle that? Probably. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I really want to see this thing's grotesque. Yeah, there'll definitely be another video about this. If I get it, I say there's going to be another video, but I have no idea if I'm going to get enough or find the blueprint to make it. I'll absolutely make it if I can, unless I can't find the resources. In that case, I think I'm being a bit crazy. <laughs> I think I can I think I can manage at least that. Bam. Bam. And if that's not working, we can just do this. <laughs> Oh wow, one whole set wasn't able to take down his vault. Damn. I'm still not sure if this is a weapon that I would like. It's a weapon I want. I want it for sure, just because it looks cool and it's a boxing glove and it's 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 like the only thing that I have that's similar to brass knuckles. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not I'm not sure yet. Again, we haven't fought against bosses. We haven't fought against haters. Haters like the it's a big one. <laughs> the only reason why I'm rocking my uh, murderous hockey stick is because it it dunks haters. Uh, what are we doing? We have a lost bag, a bronze, which I do believe drops the thing that we want. Nope. Nope. I've gotten plenty of silvers for those guys who are like, no, it only drops from silvers. I've opened them all. It hurts me every time. <laughs> it hurts me every time. Anyways, guys, um, forgive me if that was a lot shorter of a video. Uh, but yes, I don't have the mastery leveled up too much. Let's see. We did kill a little bit more things towards the end there. Let's see if we've unlocked any more mastery. Do I have a spider web on my head? Kill me. <laughs> Kill me, please. Please die. I want to live. Um, okay, so we got the body blow. It's not really a body blow. <laughs> it looks like you're right to the nads kind of blow. Uh, more attack power, more rage, more... Yeah, attack power. It doesn't say anything about, like, stamina consumption or anything like that. That's something that I would love. Oh, no, there. The stamina loss, uh, 10%. Um, but I would love a weapon that was like, hey... Uh, there's nothing like Gortastic or, or anything like that in the skill tree. It was only, like attacks one eighth faster or something like something extremely low but together if you're able to max it out you're actually attacking significantly faster um that way you'd kind of have to evolve with the weapon so to speak like because you have to account for it's a faster attack and what it can do when it's at its higher or when it's at its like peak condition anyways i really wish they would flush out the mastery stuff a lot a lot more um besides it being like get to rank 10 and you can do your other move and then it's like yeah Okay, <laughs> like why wouldn't it be like, hey, um, you can, uh, getting to tier, I don't know, 15 or hell, maybe even 20, uh, it's like, hey, uh, when doing your light attack, your like flurry attack, this damn thing, um, it heats up uh, the weapon itself, and when it's gets really hot, you can do an uppercut, which is a body shot, which will uh, take all the, the force or whatever and redirect it back at fire. So now you're doing, you're just building up your damage with this, you're rolling away, and then you're perfectly timing that sexy uppercut that's gonna do twice as much damage because you planned ahead, you built up that heat, and then you released it. Shit like that. That would, I would love if the mastery kind of turned into that kind of thing. Or it doesn't have to be like fire, it could just be like force or whatever, I don't know. Uh, the, the, the springs absorb feedback and then are able to dish it out um, when it's built enough, or whatever, <laughs> something, you get my point, <laughs> I want more, <laughs> I want more intricacies, well, that's a sexy thumbnail, anyways guys, that does bring us to the end of the video, smash that like button, <laughs> it came to my head halfway, <laughs> thank you so much, there will be a part two to this most definitely, unless I don't find it again, RNG is a pain in the ass, also I'd love to show you guys the resources that this thing takes to make and all that jazz, but sadly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. Thank you so much, and goodbye.